Hi, I'm Frankie, and in this video, I'm going to give a quick overview on the Chat Playground within Azure AI Foundry. I'm in the Chat Playground within Azure AI Foundry, and the first thing you need to do to get started is select the deployment you're going to be using. I have a GPT-35 Turbo model that I'll be using for this deployment. There's three main sections within the playground. There's the setup window, there's the chat window, and then the menu bar. Within the setup, the initial text box that you're given is the way you can start modifying the system message for your AI model. Right now, it starts with this simple default message. You are an AI assistant that helps people find information. And I can ask it, what do you do? And it should give me some information that is general about what the AI model can do for me. But if we make a small change to this, say you are an AI assistant that speaks like a pirate and helps people find information, I can apply these changes, which will start a new chat for. I'll clear the chat window and I'll ask it again, what do you do? And now I can see that it gives me a response back in the tone of a pirate. If you want help creating the system message, we can also use AI to generate a system message prompt for our AI model. There's also samples if you wanna spark your imagination to see other types of system messages you can have. I can add additional sections which will be added to the system message. Safety system messages is some text that's predefined to encourage your model to be more secure. You can also add examples if you want the AI model to learn from different types of interactions that it might encounter. You can give it user questions and example responses that you want it to have, and it will respond with those examples in mind. And variables is something you might use if you have specific type of data that you want to implement within the system message, like product or customer specific information. You can also add your own data if you want the way your AI model to respond to be more specific to you. The more data you add, the more tailored your AI model will be to your specific scenario. We can also change the advanced parameters for the model if we want to change how creative and random or how deterministic and repetitive it is. Once you're happy with the way your AI model is behaving, you can create a prompt flow to add more steps to the way your AI model is being used. You can evaluate your model with automated or manual evaluations to see if it's performing the way you want it to, or you could deploy it to a web app. That's a quick rundown for you on the chat playground within Azure AI Foundry. If this video was helpful for you, please like it and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content like this. And if you missed my one minute overview video on Azure AI Foundry, you can find that here. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.